everyone, welcome to Creations with AG. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It is completely free and you'll get announcements when I come out with new videos and to like this video and view the whole thing so I can get some important watch hours towards my 1000 subscriber goal. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Today's video is my experience with the American Girl Doll Hospital. And Leah was the first doll that I ever sent in. And I'm just gonna be showing you some before and after pictures, giving you some information about everything, how it went, sending her, receiving her, what they gave me and stuff like that. So this is great if you were thinking about considering sending your doll to the American Girl Doll Hospital. I sent my doll into the hospital in the month of October 2022. So if you're watching this many years in the future, it might not be as effective and true, but if you're thinking about sending it in the next year or so, all this information will probably still be the same. So let's get right on into it. So the first few pictures are before images, and I'm just gonna be telling you which things I use to send Leah in. So I use the care and repair setting. It retailed for $50 without the tax added on yet, and that got me a new head, skin cleaning, limb tighten, and I also paid the extra $16 for ear piercing and three pairs of earrings. So altogether, I paid around $70 to send Leah in. It was free shipping both ways, and that was really nice. But here is how she looks up on the screen, and I'm just gonna be showing you some more pictures of her hair from behind. I mainly sent her in just because of her hair, because I wanted her new hair again. I had put marker in it when I was little, so her hair was pretty bad. I wish they could do a wig transfer, but they could only do a head. This image right here is her hair from behind. As you can see, it is really bad. The photo got a little bit grainy. I'm not quite sure why, I do apologize. But it has no wave, curl, whatever you want to classify Leah's hair in. As I have rolled it up in curlers, they stay for about a day or so and they completely fall out from me barely moving her at all. So it was getting too hard to do anything with. Her, nail, her hair is pretty much naturally straight. That was after having the curlers in this picture and it looked so gross, so terrible, and it was so rough. These photos show some major marks on the back of her legs. I'm not quite sure how they wipe their dolls down, but I'm hoping they'll be able to get some of these marks off. I've tried a lot of solutions from AG tubers and none of them have really worked for Leah. I think they're stains, not really markers, or maybe they were Sharpie, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm hoping they'll be able to get some of these off when I send her in. To be honest, Leah has always been my favorite American girl. She's been unique, I love her hair. And this picture here is of me on a trip with Leah. I take her everywhere, I love her so much. And yeah, when I couldn't stand her hair anymore, I knew I had to do something about it. So that's why I decided to sell Grace. And I'm still going to have a video with information about Grace and how she sold, where she's going and stuff like that. I'm just taking a while to upload and I'm really sorry for that. But yeah, that's why I decided to send Leah in. I just really wanted her to be back to her original self. And I've seen so many other modern, aesthetic Leah's and I just couldn't have mine the way she was anymore. So I paid way too much money to get her fixed, $70. I guess 50 if you didn't get the ears re pierced. I wish they would have pierced the ears for free because their ears were already pierced, but that was a little bit disappointing how I had to do that. So that is a disclaimer. You don't get the doll's head re-pierced even if your old head was pierced, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I guess they have to get some more money. They're pretty broke. So this is the doll hospital main page and how I found this was I opened Google or if you don't have an Android you probably should just use Safari and what I did was I typed in American Girl Doll Hospital. It's all I wrote, scrolled for about a second and I found their American Girl website for the hospital. You can also find the doll hospital through their website but this is just easier in my opinion and this is the home page and what it looks like and now we're going to look at the different treatments for your dolls and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I used and what they recommend for your own doll. So then you scroll down and you can see that they do treatments for all the dolls that they own, wellies, biddies, and 18 inches. And then you can just go to treatment overview if you're not sure or you want to send multiple dolls and pretty much that's all for this slide. So here is the first refreshment or thing you can do to your doll. It's called Refresh and Renew. It retails for $45 American and you get a skin cleaning, hair brushing and restyling, eye replacement and limb tightening or reattachment. And that last part is only available for 18 inch dolls. So that retails once again, $45 American. And that's pretty much if you don't need a new body part for your doll, they will just fix her up and make her nice and new again with no new replacements. 
Here we have the next treatment, Care and Repair. Now, personally, this is the one that I use because I got my Leah doll one of the following. As you can see, I got her a new head, and as it says, it includes hair. I could have gotten her a new full body. I don't think that means head. And torso, limbs, and you could pretty much get any of those replaced. You also get skin cleaning, hair brushing, and restyling, but I didn't need that because I got a new head. Hair brushing and restyling, oops, I already said that, eye replacement, limb tightening or reattachment, once again, only available for 18 inch dolls. And this retails for $50 American, so for $5 more than the first treatment, you get a whole new part of your doll, which in my opinion is a super weird. The first one should only cost like 25 or 30 because they're barely doing anything. I would not make it cost 45 And then this one should be more, um, this one should be more like 45 maybe. Because they're only giving you something new. Sorry, I'm sick. I sound so terrible. So, yeah, pretty much I'm not a fan of the prices, but I was willing to do it because I didn't want to buy a $300 brand new Leah off of eBay, so I chose Care and Repair. The last treatment available for 18-inch dolls is Advanced Care and Repair. You get two of the following. Head includes hair, full body, torso, or limbs, plus skin cleaning, hair brushing, restyling, eye replacement, limb tightening, or reattachment. So yeah, that's a lot more. This retails for $88, which in my opinion is terrible. These prices are so terrible. If your doll isn't retired, I would just buy a new doll. So yeah, these are pretty bad prices, in my opinion. Not priced evenly to how they should be. But once again, I did not do this because I only needed a new head. So yeah, this one is for if you're pretty much needing a... This next slide shows how you can get a hearing aid placement and you can also get earrings for your doll when you send her in. So when they send your doll back to you, you get some fun little goodies with her. You get a certificate of good health, a get well card, an ID bracelet, and a doll hospital gown and socks, which is pretty good. I like that they send her back in something when you're paying all this money. So yeah, I like what they send back with her. Here we have the Welly treatments. There is only two of them, Advanced Care and Repair and Refresh and Renew. They cost $30 and $44, definitely less because they're smaller dolls. Still too much money in my personal opinion. And here we have the bitty treatments, $44, $35, and $40. Definitely super weird, just like the 18-inch, but they have all of the same ones that we do, except that you can send in your bitty twins for the same price as one, which is super weird. So there are plenty of details on the American Girl website telling you how to send in your doll. It was pretty simple. Put in your credit card number to pay, and then you print out some forms that you put inside and on the outside of the box when sending your doll in. So now that we're done with the before, let's move on to the after and how I personally had an experience with them, and I'm just gonna be sharing how it went for me so you guys can decide if you wanna send in one. So I'm gonna show you her outfit and everything she came with, but first I wanted to show you guys how she turned out after her cleaning and everything, and I'll show you her wig in a second. So basically, they got off a lot of spots on her legs. I know you guys can't see very well, but they look super clean and brand new. I don't even know how they did it. But on the back and right here, she does still have a spot, but it isn't too bad, definitely worth it. As for her ears, they were pierced and they have these little stars. I'm gonna move so you guys can see them. And they just look like that. And those are kind of like the standard ones that they pierce them with. For the wig, it is absolutely beautiful. I am so happy with how the wig turned out. It is so wavy and pretty. And I just love my new head for Leah. It is super pretty. And the hair, I can just tell such a huge change. And I just love Leah's hair, how it's wavy. You can still brush it. But you can make it bigger curls if you want. And it is just so pretty. So now I'm going to put her in her outfit. And before I do that, one last thing I wanted to comment on. When I dyed her hair, it did not look like this anymore and on the top it has these amazing highlights and it is just so pretty my only complaint is that she probably has the eyes looking down I can't quite tell but my actual complaint is that because she's a new doll she's made way cheaper in the wig in some spots you guys can't really see there we go uh let me see where it was like look at it right there guys it's like coming unglued and I'm not very happy with how cheap they're making their dolls now but I am really happy with her wig. I'm just not as happy with how they glued it on. Get on to Leah. She's down there. 
I just wanted to show you she came back in this amazing box. It's just like what you get a brand new doll in, but instead of saying like Leah, it says Doll Hospital, American Girl, super cute. She came and she was attached just like you'd opened a brand new doll in this box. And how I sent her in was basically I just got an old box of mine and I uh, just put her in there with a lot of tissue paper that was white so the colored ones wouldn't stain her skin. And that's how I sent her there. Hopefully she was safe. I wrote fragile all over my box, and yeah, it looked pretty bad. I should have taken a picture. And they sent her back in a cardboard box, and then this was inside the cardboard box. My gorgeous Leah doll. This is the doll hospital certificate of good health she comes with, and it says Leah Marie Clark because, well, that's her name. And under it, it says Dr. Ace, I think. If someone's name is actually Dr. Ace, that is, like, so cool. Then we have the hairnet that she came with. I don't know why I'm keeping this nostalgia and then she has this card and I'll go ahead and take it out for you guys I'm trying to do this one-handed and it is a get well card and it is super cute I opened it but I put it back I don't even know why so yeah this is it it says big hugs from your friends an American girl and then if you open it up it says be happy stay strong and then it has heart instead of Oh, heart X, heart X, heart X. Doesn't even sound right. And you can even write your own little message if you want. Just says doll hospital on the back. Has a number and like this really light stuff. And yeah, so pretty much that's what she came with. Now, the biggest reason I am not happy with this. I got her ears pierced, right? I did not get any earrings. Except the ones in her ears, of course. But they didn't send me the three extra they showed in the package. So I'm very mad. Sorry, that was kind of chaotic, but I'm very, very upset they did not send me the extra earrings. I'm actually going to be calling them and asking them to send them because it showed the earrings. And it's always known that when you get your doll's ears pierced, you get earrings. So I'm very disappointed about that. I don't know if that's how it works for everyone, but I am super disappointed. And I will update you guys when I call back and see what they say. So that's all for today. Please comment down below any questions about sending your doll in. I can probably answer them. I'm sorry I didn't give a lot of information. This video is already pretty long and I didn't want to make it super, super long. So yeah, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Oh, hey everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.